Good afternoon. So this is, uh, what we're doing here is, is an IDSA master session over the next three hours. Uh, and the whole concept here is talking about zero trust identity. Um, and the purpose really is to talk about integrations that take uh, zero trust identity and make it real uh, through the different partnerships within the IDSA. So if you, you may or may not have seen this, this is our, our wheel that tells about where we are, where we put identity in the center of security. So it's identity, or it's, uh, <laughs> identity, or uh, yeah. It's, it's Wednesday afternoon, I don't it's know why Wednesday anybody's afternoon. here. What do you want, right? Uh, identity defines security, centralized identity defines security. So you put your security in the middle of the identity. Uh, so the future is now that the reason that's there is really to talk about we're, we're doing integrations that are GA with these products and they're really spending the time just to show where they fit within the whole zero trust story. <clears throat> what else do we have? So we're going to have six sessions today. This first one's around access management and uh, management of enterprise mobility with the integration between uh, Ping and, and VMware's um, Air, Air what? Watch one. Hey, watch. Uh, workspace one. Workspace one. Thank you. <laughs> so Chris from Ping is going to do the, the is going to do the presentation here. I'm just here to to help moderate some of this as we move forward. And as we go through this, um, at one, some point, if you have questions, I'll walk around with the mic and and support that. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Chris. Hi. Again, why why are we here? Wednesday afternoon, are we all having fun? I'm fried. Okay, so it looks like I'm doing this slide too. Um, the point of this, uh, the, this, this discussion is really talk about how we integrate uh, Workspace ONE, Pink Federate, handling both authentication of the user, authentication of the devices, making sure that the access to uh, the resources that you're trying to get to is being done through a managed device. And there's been uh, all of the security and posture and security pieces there. Um, and we can use all, the, all those pieces as part of the authentication event to, uh, to make sure uh, that you're allowed to get to where you're trying to get to as the person that you think you are uh, on a device that we trust. So this is the architecture that we look like. It's really uh, the, the user's connecting to a, to a SaaS application in this case. It's doing an SP init callback for authentication so that Salesforce doesn't know who you are. It comes back to the authentication authority. In this case, it's ping. Uh, we bounce, uh, bounce over to Workspace ONE to say, uh, tell me about the device posture. As part of this authentication event, we can decide at that point uh, whether the device uh, should be enrolled or not. And, uh, and if, the, if, if the device should be enrolled, uh, we can send data back into the authentication engine at Ping uh, in order to then decide whether we're going to uh, authenticate you or not, or whether we need to do uh, other things like MFA, and those kinds of things. So that's kind of the flow um, that we'll see here, I think. So the demo flow is uh, the user is going to attempt to access the application from the mobile device. So this is going to be a, a device that's, uh, uh, that's, that needs to be checked for MDM and AirWatch or Workspace ONE. Uh, we're going to check the authentication. We'll, uh, we'll switch you over to VMware um, so that we can do the MDM check. And then if, you're, if you are enrolled, we'll, uh, we'll do an authentication event. If not, we'll actually send you back to enrollment and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll force a, a device enrollment. Uh, and then after that, we'll do an authentication and we'll trigger MFA um, as part of this. Just to kind of show um, the split of responsibilities here between the two uh, products, uh, on the left-hand side, we have identity, so this is the Ping Federate uh, uh, end. Uh, we're in control of access management and the, uh, uh, the authentication stuff. I think there's a, there's a line, there we go. And um, I think there's another one, there's a line. I don't know why there's a line, but there's a line. And then we're tie tying that access management decision into the EMM uh, system at Workspace ONE uh, to make sure that uh, everything's kosher and we, get, we have a, a, an authenticated user, an authenticated device as well. Yeah, that's really what the MDMs do. So make sure all of this is, is, uh, is fully managed. Uh, see, we have a demo, which I'm told is Alt-Tab. Oh, 
let's go watch this in action. I have a recording here of the flow. So let's walk through what's going on. So here we have, a, we have an iOS device. It's trying to get to um, uh, an Azure-based resource. Putting in uh, the email address in Azure. Um, Azure's recognized that this is a federated account and it's sending you back to the IDP. Bounces it over into a Workspace ONE. Access denied because we're not enrolled. So then we're forced, uh, we download the app and we run an enrollment cycle on the uh, device. So this authentication is gonna bounce to uh, Ping Federate. So this is where we're gonna authenticate against AD or whatever our backend data store is. There we go. This is Ping Federate. I'm looking at password. Part of the authentication event in order to enroll the device involves a ping ID call, so we have an MFA event. And we're authenticated here. And we've been sent back to Workspace ONE as an authenticated user on a, uh, a device that needs to be enrolled. And now we're running the, uh, the Workspace ONE enrollment process on the device. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So this is just that, that application install and the agent install, management profiles, those kinds of things. And now we're at a point where uh, Workspace ONE has uh, all the applications that it needs and they're delivered for the user for that app. Here we go. Here's where we're putting in the, uh, the profile stuff. So an MDM profile gets created. There we go. So I think we're now fully enrolled, our access to everything we need. We're authenticated to Workspace ONE. And workspace one is done. So we're going to run Outlook again. So if you remember the first time we tried to get Outlook, it, um, it, it detected that we weren't uh, we weren't on, a, uh, on an enrolled machine, so it failed the request, forced us to uh, enroll. And this time, we're in. There we go, OneDrive. I can, now, I can now say hello to my files. Done. Beautiful. So this shows one side, uh, one way of doing the integration. We're really doing this through uh, the AirWatch, or the, the Workspace ONE piece with Pink Federate handling the authentication, but uh, uh, Workspace ONE is in control of the enrollment and the device posture decisions, and then the delivery of applications through Workspace ONE all comes out of that. Um, there's, a, there's a way to flip that too. Uh, and if you want to check uh, all of those kinds of things at authentication to, to uh, applications that may not be delivered through Workspace ONE, but are federated with Ping Identity, uh, and Ping Federate, uh, we have an integration kit uh, with AirWatch 2. So as you come in through Ping Federate and authenticate, we can do a device posture check call to AirWatch. So the device comes in, we can, we can request the device ID from the device, send an API call to our, our Workspace ONE, get all the data back, and then continue to make decisions around whether, whether this should continue. So, so it just depends on where you want the decision point to be. If you want it in Workspace ONE, or whether you want it in Ping Federate, we can, we can handle both sides, of our, both, both sides of that conversation. I can only speak to one of them, though. Oh, where are we at now? I think we're done. Questions? Is it questions? I think it was questions. I don't know. I don't know how to work a laptop. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah, questions? Yeah, was right.
gentlemen. And if you're going to ask me work, work, workspace one questions, I'm not going to be able to answer them. Okay, so if I don't know if this is one of the two ways you can answer, or two issues you can answer or not, but um, could you further explain the OAuth integration that you just touched on? What OAuth integration? I thought you said a second ago you could go either direction with ping, whether. Ping so it, it's not an OAuth flow. It's really it's, it's really uh, what you're seeing the integration between Workspace One and Ping Fed is actually a SAML call. So, so they're doing a SAML federation across for the authentication, and we send the user back with the SAML assertion. Uh, that's the that's the demo that you saw. Uh, the alternative there is that you're actually coming directly into Ping Federate as a as a as a call. So we're in control of the uh, the authentication. And part of the authentication that we do is a device pass to check. Yeah, so we actually do an API call to uh, Workspace ONE to say, this authenticated user has just come in. They're on a device that I need you to tell me about. And, uh, and we, we, request the, uh, we request the service to tell us uh, what it is. And then we get a device posture, a payload back, and then we can handle the, uh, the rest of that call. How do you get the identity of the device? Like Apple doesn't let you get that. It's the, uh, it's the, there's a 509 cert that's delivered during uh, enrollment. So when the device enrolls with a, with a, a yeah, you get a device ID and a user ID tied to the cert, we, uh, we query the cert. Yeah, we, we, it, the, uh, the enrollment cert gets delivered to us when we ask for it, so it's, it comes out of the browser on the, uh, the mobile device, I believe. Uh, do you have two certs from the same DN? You may be right. I've got Ping Federate guys right there. That'll teach you. That'll, that'll teach you for sure enough. Um, it's a great question. I, I don't really know what happens when there's two certs on the device. I think we, we, it just delivers us the one that AirWatch has. I think, make, I think it comes out of the management profile. I don't remember. The, 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 the big difference is that with the, with the Ping Federate integration going that way, we don't handle the enrollment event. So you, you, you need to be pre-enrolled. Yeah. Uh, when you come into the Workspace ONE, it catches that condition and forces an enrollment if, um, if it's not there. So the security of the solution essentially is that there is a certificate provisioned on the device. Yes, at least at least our integrations so on the on the ping side. Um, there's a there's a certificate installed as part of enrollment. Um, often I see that over SCEP, so there's a SCEP call made, uh, and, a, and a, a certificate dropped, and that certificate has the user identifier, and then also the device event identifier, and we can pull both of them off and then make. Uh, like the MFA call needs the user identifier, but the, uh, the, the device posture call needs the, the uh, And device so it ID. would therefore work for all browser-based authentication, is that right? Or Safari-based authentication? It, 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 yeah, it's, it's on the device, yeah. So the, the, when we, we, as the device comes in, uh, and typically when you're doing the, um, the application call, so the application call has usually got a browser session enabled anyway. And, uh, and those are browser flows that we usually see. So we're just using that set, that, that pop-up. Like, like in that Outlook call that you saw, it's the embedded Outlook browser that, that, that was in control of all of that. And uh, the, so the delivery of the authentication, the delivery of the certificate, and the delivery of the uh, resulting tokens and back to the application all kind of happen within that embedded browser within Outlook. But the authentic, because the certificate is meant for Safari, correct? Is that right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how Watch does, uh, drops, the, uh, drops the certificate. Okay. I wish I had a VMware guy here to answer that question. Yes, sir? It's, it, it's Watch. So work, 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 work to respond is the new name for Watch. No, which, which, which bit? I oh, know it it, 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 yes. So, so work, work, workspace one is VM was MDM. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, so we, we have a very similar integration with, uh, with Intune and Mobile Iron today. Basically, works the same way. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can, you know, as long as we get a response from the MDM, so we get a payload back from the call that has a set of data about the device and the, and, and the event, yeah? Uh, in Ping Federate, I can take that data and I can change the authentication experience based on what I see. Well, the session is in control of that authentication event, yeah? So if I've already authenticated somewhere, then I'm still gonna inherit that. That doesn't change, though, that I need to make a device posture call. So just because, I've, I, just because the first factor has a session that I don't need to prompt for again, doesn't mean that the device posture is part of that flow, yeah? So, so I, may, I may roll through a session-based authentication after I've already authenticated, but I'm still gonna, I, I could still run this call and check that the device posture is, is still there. The device that's, that's in this is the device that the person's actually using to continue to yes. do yes. their so, operations. So this, this is a uh, access to data and resources on a trusted device. And it could be the laptop, because those are in Intune as well, or it could be the phone. If it, as long as it's enrolled in Workspace ONE, you'll be able to do that. Or the MDM. Yeah. Got it. I sound really good on a mic. No. <laughs> Any uh, further questions? Yeah, so, so we can, uh, within Ping, we have the ability to, um, to detect whether at the point of purring and the point of authentication, uh, and this is, we're, we're starting to shift out of the uh, originating device piece, which is what this piece is all about, to the authenticating device. But as you, as you enroll uh, the MFA factor, we can tell whether it's on an MDM managed um, device or not, and we can block it if it's not. So we, so we can do those kinds of things. Yeah, but that, that's, that's, that's the MFA side of, of the, the demo, not the data access side of the demo. Yeah, but, but, we, but we can do that. Yeah. Okay, are there any other, other questions? Um, we're gonna ramp up for the next one, which is uh, session two, which is Okta, um, CyberArk, uh, Logarithm, and Netscope. An integration to secure the AWS, uh, AWS Cloud. Thank you very much. Thank you.